Good morning, <coughs> fans of the Privateer FX. Coming at you with the European opening call here, post FOMC. Looking at dollar yen here, FOMC turned out to be relatively risk off. Um, rates unmoved, you know, relatively neutral statement as far as I could tell. Some people are saying it's a little hawkish, but the whole point of uh, this risk off is to look at this 200 day moving average in the E-mini, which comes in 2613, and then a few of the risk off metrics in currencies. Printed sort of a doji indecisive bar in dollar yen yesterday. The high was 110, really it was uh, I think 99. Uh, no, 110.03. So the 110s got taken out last night and looks like we want to turn now. The low yesterday was uh, 59.5. Now today we've been down to 57. We like being short dollar yen today, uh, and maybe short cross yen. We're not sure which is the best uh, way to express this. Maybe Aussie yen down through 82.07. Uh, maybe selling a high one in Euro yen. Not really sure what the best way to do this is. Uh, so we'll be trying a few different ways to get short risk in the, on the currency side, here's CAD yen. I don't know. I don't know. Um, but our main focus is just going to be selling S&Ps. So uh, we're short here. Um, we're going to add to shorts through 13. We basically have two days to break this. She looks like she wants to go. You can see lower highs and these big sort of small hills here, lower high again, couldn't get back above 80. Um, she looks ready to roll through this 200 day. Whether she closes below it, I don't know. I don't know what's going to drive it. Um, this is uh, this is on the frontal lobe here at Privateer. Euro, not sure what to do with this. It's probably a sell-on rally. I don't think we're going to get above, say, uh, 120. 30, 50 area, but we're not going to chase this through the lows, we're not selling low ones, don't really have any strong strategy there. I will bring up this uh, dollar CAD chart just because, again, uh, we printed 03.5 low there after this 05 low yesterday, technically this looks pretty good. Maybe if oil goes higher, I don't know what's going to drive dollar cad on the downside, but um, technically this is a nice setup. And this is sort of a break trade, a momentum style type trade um, that you can think about. Oil is pissing me off. Um, you know, still waiting for this uh, 66.85. Maybe we're going to have to wait until this whole Iranian thing is settled. I don't know why oil didn't go down yesterday. It's not a very bearish sign when you have that much uh, of oversupply and you can't make a new low. So, patiently waiting in the oil and looking at S&P's left-hand side today. And then perhaps dollar yen, perhaps CAD yen, Aussie yen, maybe even Euro yen left hand side we'll leave you we'll leave it with that uh and we will check back in at the new york open have a good day guys talk to you later